What's up, guys? Elks Vapor back at you today with a quick review slash build of the new Squake by Statqualm. Uh, first off, this is Swiss made. Um, I purchased it for $159 from a company called Vape Up USA, a company out of California. You can find them on the web. Okay. Uh, this is made up of uh, 304 stainless steel. Um, one of the quick uh, downfalls of this is the tank underneath it is made up of PMMA, which is just a fancy word for plastic. Okay. Underneath, uh, it is serialized. This is number 1570. Um, the, this is 510 threaded. Um, it has an option of screwing it and unscrewing it for a, a, a more of an airy draw or a more of a tighter draw okay now let's go underneath to the hood okay guys underneath um, the scrape is made up of four basic parts uh, you have your drip tip your mouthpiece which has two o-rings on it and that is for a nice snug fit okay then you have your chimney now this chimney has a ceramic coating on it and that is so it is not conductive and that's pretty nice because when you do your builds also the Addy deck is, has that ceramic coating on it and which is nice when you do your builds it you know you can touch it and you touch the sides and it won't short out so a lot of thought went into that when the manufacturers built it. Um, okay, um, screw your uh, chimney in there. I start it with my finger. And then it comes with a Allen wrench. I just tightened it down a little bit. Okay, it also came with a, uh, a couple of screws and an O-ring for your Addy deck. Okay, now the Eddy deck itself, um, underneath, um, it has the 510 connection. Um, on the side of it, if you can see, um, it has a little opening, and that's where your airflow comes from. Now, when I first received this in the mail, uh, it was like trying to pull, uh, suck a golf ball through a garden hose. It, it was a terrible tight draw. So what I did was I took a 564 thrill bit and I, I, I hollowed it out a little bit. At first I took the pin out and then I screwed that in there and opened it up. And I did that the same thing to the, all the way through the, the atomizer itself. I drilled out a 564 hole. I, you know, you take your your 510 connection pin out, and then I drilled all the way through it. Um, and basically, for me, it just became an awesome draw. And it, it produces awesome vapor and uh, the flavor, and it just works well for me. So, you know, try it. Try it at your own risk. You know, you can't go backwards. So once you do it, it's done. Um, so that's what I did. Okay, now the uh, the wrap I did, I used uh, 0 by 8 by 0 by 1 cantho ribbon wire, okay, and I, what I did was I used a 564 drill bit, and I did an 8 wrap, and when I started wrapping, I would wrap a quarter of the way over the previous wrap, and I and all the way around, I did that eight times, and then I did this uh, with the uh, my trusty torch. I torched it three times, and I torched it till it became cherry red. Now, now watch out, guys, because this will get piping hot. It'll burn you quick. But I torched it. Like I said, three times until it molded the shape that I wanted. Okay. And then the next step is what I did was I put it in the middle of the Addy deck. 
just like so. And I screwed the legs down one under each of the um, the posts. And that was my coil. Um, and then what I did was I screwed or uh, I put some uh, cotton through it. I just wound it up real tight and stuck it through and pulled it through. And, and that's what I used. So... When I was finished, I snipped the cotton flush with the side of the uh, the Addy deck, and that is so the juice would come up the the side of this uh, the atomizer, and it'll soak into your uh, your cotton, and that's what feeds your coil. Okay. Now, filling purposes. I use a syringe. I stick I stick it right in between the chimney and the the, um, the tank itself. Now this holds approximately five mils or actually five point two mils of juice, which is a ton. So when you fill it, you want to fill it to just uh, until that you, you hit the top of the chimney, and then. You screw your Addy deck right in there, and you're ready to vape. I think when I measured this, it came out to be a 1.3 or 1.4 resistance. Yeah, 1.39. Now, like I said, this has just been a wonderful, wonderful piece for me. Uh, probably my first or second favorite uh atomizer out there so if you have any uh questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the uh the space below um if you'd like to subscribe please feel free to and you'll get to see my newest builds and uh reviews and thanks for watching vape on and vape proudly guys